Here we have the Mercury video transmitter and on-screen display board. This is packaged with two right angle pins and a small red jumper. Taking a closer look at the Mercury video transmitter and OSD board, now that it's out of the packaging, we can see that the video transmitter module is on the top of the board and on the underside is the on-screen display and microphone. Along the right hand side of the board here we have a micro USB port. This is for flashing and configuring the OSD. At the very front here we have solder pads to connect your camera. On the right hand side we have the video input from the camera. The middle solder pad is a 5 volt output to power your camera and of course the corresponding ground. We also have a three-way solder jumper here so that you can either connect your microphone to the video transmitter module or you can actually ground the audio channel, which can help reduce interference when you have multiple pilots flying at the same time. Along the rear of the board, we have the antenna connector, which is an MMCX connector. MMCX is a connector that's not often seen in FPV and is much smaller than SMA but also much sturdier than UFL connectors. There is a locking ring on the connector and it takes some force, you can hear the click there as it engages and it can actually rotate freely while it's in there. It does actually require some degree of force to remove from the board and it works really well for internal antenna connections which do have to be plugged and unplugged as you maintain your mini quad. We also have a small auxiliary connector here which is for future use as well as two plated through holes. These are for installing the right angle pins and red power jumper which are included in the package. Removing this red power jumper physically disconnects the power from the video transmitter module. This allows you to change your channels as well as use the video transmitter and mercury stack on your bench for testing without having to worry about needing antenna connected or overheating any of your electronics.